The Rejuvenation Olympics received an update. What's the Rejuvenation Olympics, you may ask? Competition between the slowest aging people in the world. Biological clocks are designed to measure your biological age as opposed to chronological age. However, there are also biological clocks. Those are not measuring your biological age, but your biological pace of aging, how fast you are aging. One such clock is called the Needham Pace, and Brian Johnson and his team teamed up with True Diagnostics team and they created a Rejuvenation Olympics, a Rejuvenation Leaderboard. It's based on the need and pace, biological pace of aging clock. Fast forward to today, two years into this experiment, with thousands of people have measuring their own pace of aging with the need and pace, we now have a leaderboard with the slowest aging people in the world. And oh boy, we got a big update. It wasn't just an update of who gets in front of who. It was like a complete redesign of the rules of the website of everything. It was a big update and we were waiting for it for a long, long time, almost a year. There is a conspiracy theory that the Rejuvenation Olympics have not been updated for a very long time because Brian Johnson is invested in true diagnostic. Therefore, he doesn't want an update to happen until he gets low enough to <laughs> be on a good place. Yeah, no, I, I can understand why people would think that, um, you know, uh, I, I, I want to mention just maybe the history of Rejuvenation Olympics to start, which is that um, that it was entirely Brian's idea. Yeah, uh, thinks uh, certainly that, that he I would say he considers himself a rejuvenation athlete, someone who is focused completely and fully on living for as long as he can and taking the proper care of his body. And I think that he wants to start a movement around that as well, where people are doing the same. Um, so together we started this uh, Rejuvenation Olympics uh, uh, sort of website and idea. Um, and uh, and we, in order to do that, we we basically set one parameter. What is the, the parameter that we're gonna use for this leaderboard? Um, and that is what we set as the Dunedin pace, um, just because of its validation. Um, we know that it responds to intervention like caloric restriction. So it satisfies a lot of the scientific boxes that we would want for an age biomarker. Um, and, uh, but, but we wanted to do this in collaboration with Brian. So we created it as a separate website um, uh, in terms of the Rejuvenation Olympics. Um, and so uh, originally we, we were starting to update that, uh, you know, we try to do it sort of every month. Um, but as you know, uh, recently we have not done it probably in the last six months. Uh, and the reason for that is not any financial relationship with Brian and True Diagnostic. We've actually have no financial relationship, not even affiliate commissions or anything of that nature. It's, it's mainly because uh, at True Diagnostic, we, we're now getting so much data um, that having it stored in two separate locations uh, is very, very difficult uh, for the manual processing and validation. Um, and not to mention, we have two places to keep consents, um, which is uh, particularly troublesome um, about updating results if we don't get updated consents from individuals. And so what we've really tried to do over these last few months is to to now actually take full control of that website um, where we can actually link it to our backend platform. Um, so the only reason that results have not been updated is, is really our fault, the true diagnostic, um, despite I think actually Brian's insistence uh, on that. Um, you know, he, he certainly wants that to be uh, upgraded. He, uh, I, I think is, is very interested in this idea and, and wants to get public um, sort of use and mass adoption. We've been letting him down a little bit, quite frankly. Um, uh, and so that's certainly our fault. In in fact, in the beginning, they were planning to update the website every single month, but they didn't do that for a year already. So we were not sure, is this something going to die slowly? But no, it didn't. We got a lot of new stuff. So in here, I'm going to cover, cover all of them, or at least what I gathered. We'll start 
with the old website here. So what did we have here? We had two leaderboards. One and two. You have two leaderboards there. What's the difference between the two? The first one at the top is the reduction one. That one's comparing the base, your baseline score to your, uh, your follow-up score. We take an average of your baseline scores. So the idea is you have a baseline and then you start doing interventions, like different therapies, and then you have an after result. And it's the people with the biggest difference between the after result and the baseline that rank highest in, uh, in that reduction leaderboard. So if I get, get drunk, smoke a lot of cigarettes, uh, so that would work for, to, to get a good result yeah. in the that, first. That's why, uh -huh. that's why the reduction leaderboard isn't very good. So that's why we have the second one. That's why we have the second one, exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So the reduction okay. one's good if you don't cheat, because it's kind of fun that you can see that you're going from before and after, and, and you know you didn't cheat but some people probably have cheated. There's no way of knowing, but that's why we have the absolute one anyway. Whoever has the lowest across a, a six month period relative to what is predicted for their age, their chronological age, then they rank the highest. Uh, what do we have here, Dan Sullivan? Um, I found him, but was unable to contact him to come to my podcast. However, the second was Julie Gibson Clark. Oh gosh. Wow. That one. First of all, I'm not exceptional. I am your average human being <laughs> doing, getting up, slogging through the day like everybody else. So, um, and as my dad says, we all put our pants on one leg at a time. Julie Gibson Clark was, came to my podcast. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I did not publish that episode yet. In fact, that's going to be the second one. Um, anyhow, and there were some anonymous ones. There are no anonymous ones anymore. Anyhow, this was the old leaderboard. And then we received an update. Um, the website changed. I must say it still has dark patterns, um, but but at least not buggy dark patterns than what they had in the first website. You know, there was a pop up to hey join all the time. I couldn't really like keep looking at the website. Um, so anyhow, we get we get an update uh, a week ago, and now we can see that we have done Eden Pace and the Symphony Age. Uh, as you can see, this is an archive page because they changed this. And if I'm looking at these names here, I cannot recognize anyone. And even the symphony age is where zero. So the update, the very first update that they did didn't really, really, really work out that well. But uh, but an interesting thing is that here is this symphony age. What what is this? We're actually going to have the new symphony age on the leaderboard as well. The aging of eleven different organ systems. So we'll be having two ways you can really rank or compare yourself to others. This is an aging clock. My understanding is that this actually, unlike the Needham pace, which is a pace of aging clock, uh, symphony age tells you how what your biological age is and much more. It actually tells you for every organ system, uh, what's your biological age is. Another update, um, actually, we, we already started to have some, some names that I recognize here. Uh, Simland, Simland is a, is a YouTuber, wrote a bunch of books. Uh, he is going to be the first even in the final first update that they did. Uh, I did an interview with him, but that's still not published yet. My editor is so behind. I consider myself as someone who is very interested in the human experience and the human species. So I I've, I've, uh, have a background in anthropology. So I'm more of like a curious human being wanting to understand the human animal better in all aspects of it and also 
kind of enhance the, uh, the, our existence in the process. That is Josh Best. Josh Best had the best biology, the best Dunedin pace for a very long time that I've ever seen. So that will be interesting where he's going to rank, right? And Stephen M, I've done my first interview with Stephen M. Shore. Um, his name, I don't know why Stephen M, but Stephen Shore. And, and, and he's an interesting fellow. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a master of medicine. <laughs> here I am in my mid to late 60s, you know, 66 at age here. Um, if I do nothing, then the conditions of aging will time me out. I will time out. Now, whether that's 10 more years or 20 more years or 30 more years, whatever it's going to be, I'll get old like everyone else before me and everyone else that we've seen. And then end of body. Spirit, another story. End of body. Uh, and that made me feel like, well, uh, you know, I can do something about this. Anyhow, let's, let's move on. I want to show you that what what the symphony age did so i managed to 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 my browser managed to cache the results for symphony age and and symphony age actually tells you for every kind of organ system what your where you are uh, how old is that organ system of yours like the major organ systems musculoskeletal metabolic, lungs, liver, kidneys, inflammation, immune, hormones, hair, brain, blood. Um, in fact, what other interesting thing here is that there are much more than, than just 20 people, right? There was only 20 people in these leaderboards. And now there are many. In fact, I'm going to say that I am there as well. I deliberately showed you my best results, which is my muscular system. I'm the 12th on, on this symphony age. Anyhow, this is not the final first update. Uh, we'll see what, what happens with the symphony age soon enough. And then, and then the current current state of the website. In fact, I'm refreshing it just to make sure it's really the current state of the website. Now, what do we have here? Embark on your path to wellness, pushing the boundaries of longevity. We are a global community dedicated to understanding and improving how we age. Our mission is to drive forward the science of biological aging through rigorous competition and collaboration. And we have a get started now. What happens if I do that? Well, I am purchasing a kit from True Diagnostic, the company that is organizing the Rejuvenation Olympics. What kit am I purchasing here? Uh huh. I'm purchasing the the true age pace, true age pace. What this gives us, this orange thing, is gives us your Dunedin pace, and it gives us your your uh, telomere length. Uh, I I think it doesn't give you anything else, but uh, those are interesting things. And as I see, you have a true age complete. This gives you a bunch of other records. In fact. It gives you a bunch of things that you can only get from a blood test. Um, the, the accuracy is questionable, but it's not completely out of the realm of possibilities, at least how I've been, I've been looking at my true age complete test previously. So <clears throat> why, why do you need this true age complete test? I suspect the reason is because of the symphony age. So, so, so the thing is that um, I've done this true age complete test, but I never received the symphony age test, my symphony age results. Um, I, got, I got other kind of results, but not my symphony age results. 
but as I saw this this uh, this cached website, now I can see my Symphony H desserts here. So so it's interesting. So that's that's how I I got to know. That's pretty much why I saved these things to know my own Symphony H desserts. Uh, because as you will see, it has been removed for some reason. Anyhow, um, through age complete, this is what you get when you get to the purchase kit. So that's that. I think that's why you have to buy the 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 complete results. Okay, so we have a base with Brian Johnson lives in Los Angeles. Ali joined base. Um, I guess everyone knows Brian Johnson. He's one of the um, well, organizers of this, although he's more like an externally focused organizer, like a person who has some ideas but doesn't like do the coding or probably not even the design and stuff. But uh, but who knows? Um, my my impression was that Brian was not super connected to 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 the rejuvenation olympics as i interviewed the true diagnostic organizers and brian's chief scientist chief scientist who's who's uh, oliver solman anyhow so got the results got the results simland number 10.65 josh best Number two, zero point sixty six. Brian Johnson is number three, zero point sixty seven. Richard Heck, I'm not sure who he is, zero point seven. I hope to interview him at one point in the future. David Pasco, he's become really famous because because probably because he's good looking in and. And, and, and gives like he's like the people like to compare him to Brian Johnson a lot. Um, I hope to interview him as well. <clears throat> so, so Symphony Age removed. Discover the science. Um, you can discover the science. No, you don't discover the science. You purchase the kit. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, dark patterns here, although it might just be a bug. In fact, let's just give the benefit of the doubt through age pace. Track how fast your body is aging with true age pace. I don't know what that true age pace is. I think this might have been something like the Needham pace, but true diagnostic might have somehow improved upon it. Symphony Age, yeah, this, this is really interesting, by the way. This is really interesting. I, uh, not, not only from the competition point of view, I mean, if you got a result of what your, what your, your different, how your different organ systems are doing, then you just figure out your bottleneck is your lungs there, then you're going to do a bunch of, um, lung exercises, go diving or stop smoking or whatnot, right? So 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 Symphony Age will be really interesting when it will be published. The game plan. Uh, okay, by the bundle uh register your true age kit. See how you measure up. Yep, that is an important part that there are many, many, like I don't know how many, a lot of, a lot of 150, 200 people, 215 people are here. All right. Well, where am I? I am 151 with 0.87. I've done a single, single Dunedin paste test. And there are these, these uh, check marks here. 
competitors who compete street tests in the last two years will receive their verification badge. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Anyhow, test, test, optimize, retest every three months. Every three months is a bit excessive even. But who knows, like, that's how innovation works. So it's not ex ex excessive. Maintain your focus to get verified. Um, keep, keep testing, keep testing, keep testing. Re ready to join the challenge, join the challenge. And another purchase. So, yeah, they, they have a, like, like a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, uh, places pointing to buy the test kit, which is, uh, I think it's a bit excessive, but it's not that bad. Um, in fact, there might have been uh, some some less dark patterns than what I've I've uh, noticed on the first website. Anyhow, uh, about science, the forum has disappeared. There was a forum here. Um, kind of, it wasn't wasn't very functional. Anyhow, so about some reason we only have Brian Johnson and Dr. Oliver Zolman here who who are involved. Uh, Oliver, this might have been Oliver's idea. He, he's been creating uh, rejuvenation, rejuvenation leaderboards for a very long time. And then Brian, Brian is, is like, well, let's think about him as a, as a marketer. He's, is the best marketer this competition can can get. He can get better than that. So, so who do we have here? What happened? What happened? That's the question. Let's see the rankings. Firstly, Simland, 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 Twitter. Looks like the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard was updated. I'm um, rank number one in this new Symphony H clock, which measures 11 organ systems. I'm rank number nine in the need and pace, but I'm rank number one in, on the list with at least three tests of it. So, 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 so this is the thing here is that uh, they, they changed the rules from the first update, right? Um, there are no Symphony H now. And the need and pace Simland is the first one. So my suspicion is that they introduced these verified badges and whoever gets three tests, then he's going to be ranked higher. As you see, everyone is verified here. And as soon as we stop being verified, people are down there. All right. So that's the that's the that's the catch. Zero point forty seven. What the heck? Aging half a year, a year. <laughs> that's crazy. I I found someone with zero point forty five. Craig M. So, something like that. Hope to interview him in the future. Anyhow, um, yeah, you have average pace and best pace. So I, I think the rules are much better here. I, I think the rules are much, much better this way. I mean, in, in the old one, you, you, you had problems, but, uh, but in the new one, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, this wasn't that bad, the, the second one, the absolute leaderboard, right? If you're 80 years old and aging only 0 0.71, that's much, much better than if you're if you're like Simlan, 27 years old maybe and aging 0 0.65 but uh but but i think these rules are still better in a sense that um there is much less room for arguments here so so it removes some subjectivity all right so that's that's Simlan. Is number one aging the slowest. Next gonna be Josh Best. 
after a correction, I'm actually number two in rejuvenation on Pix Dunedin pace, counting for verified entries. Just in front of Brian Johnson at number three, and I am number 12 when taking into account unverified entries. Let's hope it's the final update. <laughs> All right, so he's, he's just best. I'm not sure how old is he. He told me maybe 45, something like that. Looks, looks, looks somewhat young. Uh, Brian Johnson, I'm not sure what to say about him. Don't die. Uh, Let's let's move on to Mike Last Garden, who doesn't do don't die. He does conquer aging or die trying. Now he's a really interesting fellow. Uh, couldn't reach him yet, but definitely want to interview him. Number eight on the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard is that still the case? Yeah, no. Number nine. Okay, so. Since he tweeted, he became number nine somehow uh, with 0 0.75. So, so why he's really interesting is because he's he's a uh, he's a complete geek about it. He's he's doing some kind of statistical magic on his. Okay, so he's doing tests all the time, biological aging tests, uh, blood tests, all kind of stuff, and then he's measuring every single thing, how long he's sleeping, what he's doing, how much he's exercising, what he's eating to the to the last micronutrients, I believe. And then he's doing some statistical magic and he's trying to figure out how to how to move the, the measurements in the right direction by correlation and not causation, but but uh, he's making some really meticulous progress here. <clears throat> oh we see Tiat Lim, uh, number 10, who is someone from Singapore. Uh, I've been actually chatting with him a lot. Um, I, I think he is going to come to my podcast, or at least he promised after the update. So we'll see, we'll see how that's going. He, he's, he's a fitness guy, and actually he, he's done some great work even on his mother. Um, anyhow, the next person is going to be there is no next person what i'm going to talk about now is that hannah went uh got an unpublished interview with her i will publish it soon uh she said some oh who's she she's the co-founder of of uh true diagnostics so the board updates every 24 hours. So now, from now on, my understanding is that the board will keep being updated every 24 hours. So there won't be necessarily a final update. Um, okay, so Josh Best was asking one question. Why is the verified ticks are higher ranked than the unverified ones? Verified results are implied at least three test results and help validate the consistency of lower pace score. Okay, so that's what we have to know about the verified verified results. Well, now I want to show you Dave Pasco. Yeah, so so so, so he the people really like to compare him to Brian Johnson. Uh, why 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 do they maybe maybe because his protocols are not as crazy he's doing he's getting results similar to Barry and Johnson at least on the rejuvenation olympics and and they are both good looking males i guess so 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 what else do we have here um, I want to go through the people I have interviewed. Oliver Zolman, um, Stephen Shore. We talked about him. What? What? What's he now? Uh, Stephen Shore, the master of herbs. Shore. Uh huh. One hundred thirty-six, zero point eighty-three. So 
His 136, 0.83, he did only a single test. Uh, he's unverified, so that might be why he's on 136. Also, he's quite an old fellow, right? Like you can you can see Stephen Shore. Huh? It's a different it's a different number, which is which is interesting. Six. Anyway, um, are we even talking about the same person here? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Maybe it's not that Stephen Shore. Okay. Okay. Well, let's move on then. Um, did the first interview with him. He's really interesting. Jeffrey Gladden from Gladden Longevity. What do we have? Jeffrey Gladden, number 15, 0. 85 on the old one jeffrey was the 20th 0 0.84 you see this is different oh but but this can be different i mean this can be if Shore did a single thing then it should be the same as as on the on the new rejuvenation olympics leaderboard anyway jeffrey glad and glad then longevity uh 15 now we have Diane Ginsberg. Um, what's going on with Diane Ginsberg? Diane Ginsberg was number three, and now for some reason she's not there. Maybe they couldn't reach her. I'm not sure why she's not there. Oh yeah, Gladden has a has a Twitter. Follow him. Also, Stephen Shore has a Twitter. Please follow him. Um, if plus go Twitter. Okay. Um, I also interviewed Julie Gibson Clark, who was number two. What happened with her? I think she's also unverified. Julie Gibson Clark, 0 0.67. She's a very nice woman. No slubs. Okay, so. 30, 39. Yeah, maybe she only did two. R right. I think the Novus Trias was in a way that you did one before and one after. And and uh, that might have been her, her average here. Now, let's take a look at the names. Who do we know? Genwell. Yeah, Gemma got uh, this cent amount of media attention. She's running a Telegram group, uh, Ageless Society. Pretty interesting. Check it out. Um, she, 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 she's a very interesting person. She's a very interesting person. You should, you should try to talk to her. You'll see right away. <laughs> All over the place. <clears throat> Tia, Michael Lustgarden. Scott Glosserman. I think even this guy was in the in here, but I couldn't find anything about him, so so not sure who he is. Ben Greenfield. Ben Greenfield is not was not on the twentieth leaderboard, the previous one, but he was on the leaderboard before. So so that's 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 it. He's 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 a He's a YouTuber, media person. I tried to interview him, but he was asking, I don't know, a thousand dollar or ten thousand. I, I think it was a thousand. Um, it was a bit pricey for me, but maybe if my, I improve my channel, I can get him to come even for free. So, Jeffrey Gladden. All right. Um, not sure I know anyone else. Uh, this guy was the first. Uh, yeah, zero points. 47 would be really interesting to interview him. Claudio Peptenaru. All right. So that's that's what we have. That's what we have. This is the Rejuvenation Olympics update. We got a lot of things. We got a lot of things. There are new rules. And my kid is just coming here. Hello. Hello. Yo, they've left you. Finished. Thank you, guys.